to find the center of anything, the first thing you need to do is you need to define the edges. Once you know where the edges are, you can find the middle, and that's the center. For the Romans, it was quite simple, oh, 2,000 years ago at least. This is Hadrian's Wall, this is the Mile Castle 39. And for the Romans, anything north, which is that way, wasn't Roman. Anything south, which is that way, was Roman. So if you knew where all the edges of the Roman Empire were, find the middle point, and that's the center. For Great Britain, it's, uh, it's not so simple. We first need to define where Great Britain is. What is Great Britain? Before we can actually find the center of it, we need to know where the edges are. So let's have a look at a map. And as you can see, Great Britain is part of the British Isles. And the British Isles are a collection of islands just off the northwest coast of Europe. There's two large islands and hundreds and hundreds of smaller ones. So if we remove the country of Ireland, and the crown dependencies of the Isle of Man and the Channel Islands, we're left with the United Kingdom. If we take off Northern Ireland as well, we're left with Great Britain. And this is the area which includes Scotland, England and Wales, and all the islands surrounded by those countries, or all the islands surrounding those countries. Now, as we're surrounded by sea, the obvious thing to do, <laughs> incorrectly, would be to assume that the centre must be the furthest point away from the sea. So let's go and have a look at the point which actually is furthest from the sea. And this is it. This field on Colpit Lane in Derbyshire is the point in Britain which is furthest away from the sea. The coast is a minimum of 72 miles in any direction. Um, I'm not going to identify the farm which owns this field because I don't want everybody in the world turning up asking for a selfie. Uh, but let's have a, another look at this, a bit more detail at this, at this field. Is it the centre of Great Britain? Britain isn't only about the mainland. So if we take the whole of Great Britain, it's 562 miles from here to Outstack in the Shetlands, which is actually the most northerly point in the whole of Great Britain, and it's 285 miles to uh, Pednathase Head in the Scilly Islands, just off Cornwall. So, we're not in the middle. This definitely isn't the centre of Great Britain. Better keep looking. So, if Colpit Lane isn't the centre of Great Britain because it's furthest away from the sea in any direction, where is it? Well, if we do a quick Google search, <laughs> centre of Great Britain, it will probably bring us here, to Holt Whistle, which is on the A69 between Newcastle and Carlisle. Um, as you can see from the sign behind me, <laughs> this town is very proud of being at the exact centre of Great Britain. Is it? No, it's nowhere near, but it's good for marketing. As you can see, there's a hotel, there's an electrical shop, and check this out, there's even a laundrette that claims to be the exact centre of Great Britain. If this isn't the centre of Great Britain, let's go and find out exactly where it is, and luckily, the Ordnance Survey have actually worked it out for us and given us a very exact grid reference. When I say an exact grid reference, I do mean very, very exact. Something that only a computer would be daft enough to come up with. It's not much use in practical terms, but it's, uh, it's good as an exercise for today because we're going to go and try and find that grid reference <laughs> in a minute. Um, first, if you don't know about grid references, you'll see 14 figures. Um, is very very silly um, because it describes an area a square one centimeter on either side um, it, i'm not going to go into grid references at the moment because it's not a navigation course but um, basically you have a four figure grid reference will give you a one kilometer square um, a six figure grid reference will give you a 100 meter square and it keeps going down and down and down until you get to a 14 figure grid reference which we've got for this area, uh, which is a one centimetre square. Um, so that's where we're going to go and try and find. We've worked out what these, this crazy grid reference is. It's a one centimetre square, which the Ordnance Survey computer has worked out is the exact geographic centre of Great Britain. But how does it actually know where the centre is? Is it not halfway between Outstack, up in the north top end of Scotland, and Pednathase Head down in Cornwall? Is it halfway? No, <laughs> it's, it's not. What they do is they use a thing called the geographical uh, method, geographical method. And what they've done is they assume 
that all the islands around Great Britain are joined to the mainland by rigid but weightless wires, so they stay where they are. And the next thing they've done is they take a slice just above sea level, a very, very thin slice of the whole of Great Britain and all the islands and everything else. Um, and then they would uh, see where that slice would actually balance on a pin. Um, I need a starting point to actually be able to home in on our one centimetre square. Um, and this is as good a one as any. As you can see, this is a, uh, a bend in the fence and I don't know if you can see it but just over there the fence goes over a stream so at the moment I won't give you a grid reference um, unless you really want one I am at where the hell am I 64 2 um, 56 7 that'll do it's near enough um, but anyway so this is going to be my starting point and what I need to do is I need to walk on a compass bearing in that direction and I'm looking for 64.1.56.5. Now I've worked out the uh, magnetic declination for today. The declination is just the difference between grid north and magnetic north. The lines on the, comp on the map point at the top of the world and, the mag and your compass points at a, a different area, a different place. At the moment, this year, we're in August 2020, the, the magnetic North Pole from here is just behind the, uh, the grid North Pole, the true North. Um, so it makes not much difference, but it does when you're looking for a one, one centimetre square. Okay, then I've just come on a bearing um, for 332 metres. Um, <laughs> and I must admit, I did it on a bearing, but I've just checked that I've actually arrived and <laughs> did it on a, the latest garment. I don't know if you can see these, but it ge actually gives you your uh, um, exact location. These are actually a little bit more accurate than most GPSs because they work on, not on just on a GPS. There are three satellite systems above us. There's the Russian Glasnost, the European Galileo and the American GPS. Maybe there'll be a Boris one soon, who knows. Um, but this actually picks up all three different satellite systems, so it tends to be uh, reasonably exact. Hang on though, doesn't matter what the GPS says, I actually know that I should be in a hollow, which I am. Um, so I'm now at 641565. So hopefully that's just come up on your screen. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to find 641856564. So we're homing it down slightly, but <laughs> I must admit, I'm going to cheat on this one because um, I just happen to have in here. Be amazing what rubbish I carry up mountains. And uh, get it out my bag. <laughs> I've got <laughs> a hundred meter tape measure. So the thing is, I mean, come on, give me a break. We actually want to find a very precise point. So trying to do it on a compass bearing, sort of taking relocations off mountains and streams and fences, just never going to work. So let's see if we can find it using this. Um, you have to give me a few minutes on this one. So then, <laughs> we're getting there. So this here, this point here, is 64185654. So basically this is the start of a one meter square. Okay, so the center of Britain is somewhere in there. <laughs> but we'll keep an eye on that hole. So as always, we're gonna cheat and we're gonna use a tape measure. So, first things first. Let me take a, uh, a bearing just to make sure we're heading off in the same, in the right direction. I'm taking it from where the, uh, the brow, see where the, the uh, horizon disappears behind the brow there. That is exactly due north minus 0 0.4. So let me just check it on this. Hang on, bear with. Sound like Miranda there, didn't I? Yep, spot on. 
Okay, so we're using our lens attic compass just because it's a bit more exact. So the next thing to do is we need to go out 0.8 and 0.1. So 0.8 along the corridor, 0.8, which is there. And then up the stairs, we need to go 0.1. So we're going to move it that much, 10 centimeters which is there, so 0 0.8 is there, so it's there. Last but not least, we need to find 3043. And again, from here, the problem is that's more than a centimetre wide, but never mind. So here we go, let's find this, 30, so 3, and then on the same line, because it's a zero, and then the 443, so, along the corridor up the stairs, 40, and then three down, and that there is the geographic centre of Great Britain. <laughs> Maybe they should build a laundrette here, who knows? <laughs> we'll have to go and speak to Holt Whistle uh, Tourist Information Office, see if they agree. Anyway, let's have a look what else I've got in my rucksack. Aha, what have we here? <laughs> we have, yes, put it in the same hole. So, that there <laughs> is the centre of Great Britain. <laughs>